So you're thinking about installing luxury vinyl plank in your house? Let me show you the basic steps that you're gonna need to follow to make it a seamless installation. Grab yourself a hammer and crowbar and let's tear up this floor. Step one, remove the baseboards. When removing baseboards, go ahead and take a utility blade, score the top half of the baseboard itself, get yourself a pry bar, and then slowly work the board off the wall. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna be able to save every single baseboard. Also, when removing every baseboard, go ahead and number every single one. Next up, demo. Demoing is a fun project. It could be very rewarding to go ahead and get rid of the old floor. I like to try to pop up the tiles as whole as possible so that way transport to the dumpster is a lot easier and cleanup is a lot faster. The more organized you are when demoing, the easier the process is and the faster the cleanup will be in the end. When dealing with tile, always expect there to be multiple layers of flooring that will need to be demoed. In this case, there is hardy board down that need to be ripped up. It should be a given, but I'm gonna say it again. Before you put the padding down, make sure you vacuum the surface and it's free and clear of all dust and debris. Now that the floors are completely cleared of dust and debris, we're able to install the padding. This particular padding that I am installing is a great moisture and sound barrier. Be sure to take your time when installing the underlayment. It's gonna be a little bit difficult at first, but you'll get the hang of it. Cut around the corners and door jams, and make sure everything sits completely flat. This underlayment is designed to overlap one another so that each piece lines up next to one another and then a flap goes over to seal it both together. This next part is crucial. The reason why is how you start this row is how it's gonna end up. Take your time, measure out the width of the board you're gonna be installing and divide it by the length that's in the room. This will allow you to come up with how many rows you will need and where the rows will end up. In this case, I'm actually measuring it out to make sure that there is even lines throughout the hallway. And then when I end the installation, it's gonna be a full plank in the bathroom. So I had to rip the boards on my first row so that way I could go ahead and have a full board on the back. Before installing the floor, let me go over the tools that are needed in this job. So you're wondering what tools to use when installing luxury vinyl plank. Well, here you go. This is the basic tools that you'll need to make sure that the installation goes smooth and quickly. The only thing that's missing out of here is a table saw. We are now ready to begin installation. As you can see, I ripped the first row of boards to be installed, and I'm going to start from left to right and simply just connect them together. Now that I have about three rows down, I'm gonna go ahead and put the spacers against the wall 
and then put boxes of flooring against the spacers to give weight to the floor and also make sure they don't come loose. It's important to make sure you inspect every piece going down to ensure that there is going to be no nicks, scratches, dents, or any defects on the floor. I hate to have you install four or five rows and then you, all of a sudden you go back and see that one piece that had a scratch or a nick in it and then you would have to take up the rows just to replace that one and it's a big waste of time. Do it up front, take your time, and inspect each piece. What I normally do is run about two to three rows, and this allows me to complete a room quicker by not having to do row by row. So right now we're gonna slow it down. We're gonna go back into real time and I'm gonna let you follow along as I install two rows. If you're not interested in seeing real time, go ahead and jump to the 12 minute mark. Really important to hear that clicking noise because that tells you that the floor has officially snapped together.
if you're interested to see how the cutter actually works and would like me to make a separate video on that topic, comment below. As you can see here, the first line in the hallway has been ripped down to size, and now I am making sure that it can slide underneath the door jamb. Also at this time, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your door jams are trimmed up to the size of the floor, so that way the floor can slide underneath it, and you're not gonna need a transition piece. Now I have to repair these door jams because they were trimmed up a little bit too high with the previous floor installation. Take your time in the hallway in the closet. The room is small, the spaces are tight. Just go ahead and take it step by step and that way you're not gonna have any mistakes. What I like to do is open a couple boxes and stack the floor in front of me as I am working down the room. And that way it's easier working alone that you could basically go ahead and grab a floor from a pile and not have to keep getting it. It's always good to stagger the planks so that way the seams do not line up and it's a good rule of thumb to not repeat the pattern for at least five rows.
If you plan it right and you have the right tools, you're never going to need that transition piece. You're going to be able to put it in through doorways and jams. And as you can see right now, I'm working into the master closet. This floor is 100% waterproof, allowing me to go ahead and continue the floor into the master bathroom. As you can see here, the last row is a full piece. And that is the reason why it's important to plan everything out. All right, there you have it. This is the end result after I was able to paint the room, put the baseboards back on and clean everything up. Comment below what you guys thought. And if you had any questions, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and also be sure to subscribe so you never miss out the latest content that I will be putting out there. Until next time, stay handy, my friends. We'll see you on the next one.